Hello everybody. Welcome to my Thing Link tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to use an online program, a web 2.0 program called Thing Link. So let's switch over to the internet and let's get started. Here we are online. The website you're going to go to is thinglink.com. And once you get here, you're going to click Start for Free, sign up for a new account. Once you log in, click on EDU, type in your name, first and last, in your role, make sure you choose Teacher, do not choose Student. Uncheck Subscribe to Newsletter and click Get Started. It says your account is ready. Once you've watched the video, go ahead and click Start Using ThingLink. Okay? So now this is what you're going to see when you go to log in. In order to create a new ThingLink, we're going to click on Create. And then you're going to go to Upload Image. And the image I want you to upload is on my website. I'm going to click cancel here. On my website, for this Inside Components of a Computer lesson, this is the image you're going to download. So when you get to this motherboard, you're going to right click, save image as, and you're going to name it motherboard. And then you're going to put it in your network drive or put it in your pictures folder if you need to so you can find it. And then I'm going to click Save. Okay, so now I have my image. I'm going to go back to ThingLink and now I'm going to upload pictures. And that didn't work. Oh. Pictures. Click on the motherboard and click Open. So now I have my image. It says to click to add a tag. So I'm going to click. And you see I have a tag here, but I don't want it here. I want to start up here at the top where my power supply is. You're going to use the handout that we went over at the desk. And you're going to transfer the information to this image. This is an online dialog diagram and labeling program. So I've clicked here. And... I can change my image. You see it's black. I can click here. And these are free icons. And you'd have to pay more money to get more. So let's just say I want this button here. So I have my link. And now you can either add a link here or customize in text. So I'm going to click text. And for my text, I'm going to type power supply. And then I'm going to type in the definition for power supply. Okay, so now I have my text. You can upload image, you can upload audio, but we're not going to worry about that. So, what you're going to do is you're going to add a label to all of your parts. So, I'm going to click here for the fan. And I'm going to type fan keeps the computer cool. Okay, and now up under that is your processor, so I'm going to put that about right in there. Okay, and I'm going to name that CPU, Central Processing Unit, um, controls all of the computer processing activities. 
okay? So you'll give it a definition. And you should already have a definition to everything. So what you're going to do is go ahead and label all of your parts, okay? And you remember that 10 and 11 are the same. You only need to do one tag for this expansion cable, okay? So you'll put a tag here for the expansion cable. And then, of course, you'll do number uh, 11 up here for the uh, hard drive, uh, the CD-ROM drive, okay? So that's how you use ThingLink. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to have to have three YouTube videos that relates to some part. So let's say, for instance, you're going to, you got the motherboard here. I'm going to add one for motherboard. And, of course, you give it a definition, okay? But I'm going to go to YouTube. And I'm going to find a video that gives me more information about the motherboard. Okay, I have found a video about the motherboard. And I'm going to get that link, click up here, copy it, Control-C. And I'm going to go back to my thing link. And for my motherboard tag, I'm going to click, make sure my motherboard tag is selected. I'm going to click up here, and I'm going to paste the URL, okay? And you will see that the video shows up. You need three links to a YouTube video. So I've got one for motherboard. I may want to do another one for hard drive and another one for expansion uh, slots, okay? So you're going to do three videos from YouTube. And then you're going to look for websites that gives you more information in text about these computer parts. So let's see power supply. Power supply information. Okay, I did a search for computer power supply because you have power supplies for many different devices. So we want computer power supply. This is a good website here, computerhope.com, that will give you information. So I'm going to click on this link. And this gives me information about the power supply. So I'm going to copy this link. And I'm going to go back to thing link. And for my power supply tag, I want to add a link for it as well. Okay, you can do small image or you can just do text. I'm going to do small image there. Or I just click text. It makes it look a little bit better, okay? So now once you're done with that, you're going to make sure that you have all of your parts labeled. You've got three different links to videos from YouTube to explain more about the computer components. And then you're going to have three links to a website that gives you text that relates to your computer components, okay? So now once you get everything done, you can go ahead and click Save over here on the left. And I'm going to click Save Image. Uh, let's give it a title. You need to give it a title. Mm. And I'm going to name this Computer Components. Oops. Components on the inside. Okay. Save image. And this is your thing link. Okay. And then when I got to look at it, I can see what you've put in on your link. Now, if you don't finish, you need to come back and edit. This is your edit button. I can click here and it takes me right back so I can make more changes. Okay, so I'm finished. And to share it to me to turn it in, you'll click on the share button and link and copy it. Or you can do embed and then copy it and then go to Edmodo and turn it in on the thing link activity. And that is it. That is how you work on ThingLink. If you have any questions, please see me and I'll be glad to help you. Thank you and make sure you complete this assignment.